guys welcome back to my channel today I have my February favorites for you guys um, this is also a video in my opinion that I get to sit down and talk a little bit more about certain products that I'm liking compared to if you see it five times in a video duh I'm sure you get a hint that I absolutely love that product but I feel like on favorites videos you get to sit down and actually talk about why you like them what you like about them etc etc so that's why I want to do those and I'm going to do my best to do them because I was kind of on a foundation kick for February I was using all different types of foundations usually when I find a foundation that I love I use that like forever and I mean like week after week after week after week first one I want to talk about is this one by bare minerals this is their ready foundation and this is just in the powder form mine is in mine is in R330 um, these don't come in shade names unless now they do but this has SPF of 20 and this is a powder foundation I've recently been using my powder foundation and I love the powder foundation from bare minerals this was my first foundation ever in talking makeup of course my first ever owned foundation ever that I started using I've been with this for years now it's been four years that I've loved bare minerals and I have never put it down this is probably I want to say my fifth one honestly because I, I I do love it I do love the finish it gives it doesn't look cakey it doesn't emphasize my pores I just love it it I can do a review on this or talk more about it or dedicate a video to this I have two foundations I want to talk about other than that one that I did love throughout this month one is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I think I said that backwards. Yeah, it was Infallible Pro Matte. But anyways, this one, this is fairly new. I will have a entire video dedicated to this product as well. You like it, especially because I am oily skin. It, I like it because it keeps me matte, especially on those days where I am like up at 7 in the morning and will be up up until 11 at night. So that's why I love this. It's a fave. I want to talk about an e.l.f. product. In my e.l.f. haul, I mentioned this eye this eye refresher by elf that I got and I actually purchased two of them because I've heard really great things about them and I absolutely love this in the morning It's like this cooling sensation and it kind of helps with your um under eyes like the puffiness poofiness because if you're one of those persons that go to bed at midnight and then have to wake up at 7 in the morning the next day then you kind of know what I know or you guys kind of know what your eyes look like um as well as I do. So I love this. It's a nice kind of refresher in the morning and it's it's a very nice cooling cooling. What is cooling? Very nice cooling sensation and it's like a roller ball situation, but this ball here is like a metal ball. It's like a silver metal ball. Like you you can see that. I know how they say if you take like a cold spoon, it'll, you know, reduce the puffiness. I kind of feel like it does that a little bit. The next product I want to talk about is a skincare product. <sighs> I can't say it. Okay. This is the Ultra Repair Liquid Recovery. It's supposed to hydrate, soothe, and comfort is what this little guy is. I have to say I I was blown away because I honestly, after a week, not even exaggerating, those patches here and here went away. Disappeared. Did never came back. Never came back. And I this is the one I bought in November and I still have some. It is not even halfway it is up to here and it still has that much more and a little bit goes a long way when I had first tested because this is what it looks like I had first tested it and I was like this feels like water like what is the point of this this feels like water like it dissolves into your hands it's like water it has no fragrance it's it's like water there's no other way to put it it is like water whenever I put it on it doesn't relieve any oil or leave any oil behind it does not cause any oil it it does nothing but get gets rid of dryness I have a favorite bronzer which for me personally is kind of hard to find a bronzer because I am kind of on the tan side even on my pale days I believe I received this in an ipsy bag this is by pop beauty this is a sun-kissed bronzer this one is in secret sunshine you look at it like this it kind of looks like it's got some shimmer going on in there and personally I am NOT down with any shimmer in my bronzer I love matte 
bronzers and it's actually not it is matte like I can't even tell you it is matte and it is pigmented and it blends super easily so I have been loving this I even stopped wearing my MAC bronzer that I have because I feel like this one's even better and this is probably a whole lot more affordable pop cosmetics is not or pop um beauty pop beauty is not pricey whatsoever I have three favorite that's six but three favorite new brow products that I ran into I was kind of um you know like every other little makeup junkie I was over at Target and I was in the little makeup on I was like ooh, what can I buy what can I buy what don't I own what do I need in my life ran across two products by NYX that I have never ever seen anywhere in any other drugstore in Ulta never seen these products and didn't know they existed the first one is this NYX uh, duo pencil situation this is supposed to be a highlighter and then this is like the brow pencil absolutely love is this and I love the highlighter and if you know NYX they are super inexpensive I mean their drugstore prices what the highlighter looks like it's a kind of pink kind of a pale pink color but when you blend it it leaves this most beautiful eyebrow highlight of life it is super blendable as you can tell and when you pack on an eyebrow highlight shade or whatever whether it's shimmery or whether it's matte it it just it looks bam like it's really nice but it's not that ooh like that's an ugly shimmer there going on or anything no and this is also a matte color or highlighter it is not shimmery glittery situation and the second thing I got on my trip to Target was is also by NYX it is this eyebrow wax because I, I need an eyebrow wax in my life to set my eyebrows before I actually do them I try to tame them with my fingers as I'm filling my brows in but sometimes my hairs just don't want to stay What's the purpose I mean it's clear eyebrow wax I mean you can't you just can't see it um but it does its purpose to go in hand in hand with those two guys is I don't think I've ever talked about this but I've been super loving this and this is the brow bar to go by whitening lightning mine is in the shade dark they have like a um, light shade and a dark shade or something like that and mine is in the dark shade I absolutely love the one in the middle which is the light one oh I I'm getting more comfortable with brow powders it is nicely pigmented and it does leave the eyebrows looking very natural I actually like using this sometimes alone without my brow is by Anastasia and it just it's just really nice I like the finish that it gives and it's really nice so this has been a favorite or these three things have been my like eyebrow favorite for the past two months honestly because I bought these in January Trust me. I have one lipstick, just one, I promise, to share for the month of February that I loved. And I just discovered it. This is my first Revlon lipstick to begin with. And this is in the shade Prim Rose. Oh my god, where have I been? I absolutely love this lipstick. It is like the best color of life. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can you see it? It is like the perfect baby pill pink of life. And of course, it's a little too pale for me but I love this in the center of my lips with any other darker lip liner or lipstick and it just gives the perfect pout and gives a nice dimension to the lips absolutely love this color and it's very it has a nice you know sheen to it so I absolutely love it it is the only lipstick I need to talk about this month and once again it's drugstore I mean it's Revlon so it's the bomb that is it I feel like I've been sitting here for about 20 hours let me know what your February favorites are down in the uh, uh, comment box. Just also let me know if you guys want to see any reviews or videos on these specific products here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you do like monthly favorites. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.